Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to discuss combustion and fossil fuels. So what we are going to discuss in this whole chapter is all about con uh, combustion and its types, flame, fuel and characteristics and types and fossil fuels, right? So first of all we would discuss what is actually the term means combustion. So combustion is the chemical reaction that produces heat and light okay when a substance burn in the presence of oxygen you could see the substance has been burned so this particular thing has been termed as combustion right now substances uh, there are two type of uh, you know substances one is combustible and one is a non combustible substance right so the substance that undergo the process or those catches the fires those substance which catches fires they have been termed as combustible substances for example wood you could see here paper right uh, lpg and kerosene substances which do not catch fire even in the presence of oxygen they have been termed as non combustible substance for example water stone glass so uh, further in this chapter we are going to discuss the type of combustion that may might be rapid combustion rapid combustion means type of combustion in which large amount of heat and light is released in very short span of time right spontaneous means when the substance which burst out into the flame without the application of heat you know that has been termed as spontaneous suppose uh, take an example of match sticks that is match sticks come upon the spontaneous uh, combustion then complete combustion complete combustion means that type of combustion which takes place in the sufficient amount of oxygen is known as complete you know combustion and incomplete means when uh, the combustion which takes place in an insufficient amount of oxygen that has been termed as incomplete combustion so there are a lot of things which we need to discuss right here is explosion explosion uh, is a type of combustion that occurs suddenly in which light heat and sound uh, and a large amount of gases have been re released that has been termed as explosion like bursting of firecrackers here is termed as explosive uh, then we'll uh, discuss the condition which are necessary for the combustion that is presence of combustible substance that means presence of any combustible substance wood you could say paper kerosene combustible materials presence of oxygen so that it could support the combustion then reaching the ignition temperature now what is the ignition temperature means ignition temperature here means the temperature at which combustible substance starts burning in the presence of air you know so that is been termed as ignition uh, temperature right reaching to the ignition temperature further we will be discussing about fire extinguisher which we need you know when uh, we uh, where comes uh, you could say fire emergencies in those case we use this fire extinguishers which contains carbon dioxide and soda acid fire extinguishers are also been used you know then we are going to consider the flame here the characteristics of the flame the variation in the color of the flame of bunsen burner with increase in the water supply see you could see the characteristic here the blue flame is also called as non luminous flame flame as complete combustion takes place here because the oxygen level is most here when it comes to yellow yellow is the luminous flame as the incomplete combustion takes place right so this is uh, you could say luminous flame and this is the non luminous flame right so it is the most oxygen here the most oxygen uh, presence of most of the oxygen and here the least oxygen is present right the further we'll discuss about the structure of the flame you could see here the structure of the candle flame right this is the middle zone middle zone which is you could say luminous zone outer zone is non luminous because it has the lot of oxygen in uh, presence of lot of oxygen when it comes to middle zone that is this is luminous zone which means a presence of less oxygen you know presence of less oxygen when it compares to the outer zone but when it comes to the dark the blue uh, inner zone right the inner zone means it is the coolest part of the flame in this zone there is no supply of oxygen and it remains unburnt 
and this zone doesn't emit any light and uh, and is in dark in color okay now the last is blue uh, blue zone the blue zone is located at the base of the wick you could say the base of this the burning carbon uh, carbon monoxide gives it blue color the burning carbon monoxide would give it a blue color now la last will uh, next will be coming towards fuel okay so fuel means what substance that are burned to produce energy in form of heat and light they are termed as fuel right there are solid fuels there are liquid fuels there are gaseous fluid we'll be discussing in this then the further we'll be discussing the characteristic of the good uh, good fuel that is a good fuel should have further characters it should be pollution free inexpensive safe to handle it should have high calorific value low ignition temperature moderate rate combustion easily available and no residue after burning right further we would be discussing fossil fuel so see the death of plants and animals takes place right then the burial of plants and animals happens then they are covered by the layers or layers of sand and sediments after millions of year uh, if years the remains of uh, buried de gets deeper the remains of buried they buried you know plants and animals they get deeper and deeper and right conditions with right condition right temperature high temperatures and pressure the formation of uh, and with the formation of the sedimentary rocks the formation of fossil fuels occurs further we would be discussing here coal petroleum you know the products that are obtained from petro coal you could say coke coal tar coal gas then we would be discussing petroleum then further we would be discussing natural gases how we need to conserve uh, our natural resources our fossil fuels what are the limitations to the to the fossil fuels here is they are limited they are limited in supplies we need millions of years for fossil fuels to be formed but uh, when it comes to resources it will get exhausted soon right and uh, it causes air pollution of course the fossil fuels of the burning of fossil fuel uh, you know uh, there is a lot of air pollution occurs to because of that now we need to conserve our fossil fuels because they are actually in the limited uh, stock we have they are limited they are um, exhaustible resources which can be exhausted soon so we can use the alternative sources of energy like solar wind energy which are in inexhaustible in nature judicious use of existing uh, existing uh, you could say resources avoid plastics uh, then use of public transports like train buses uh, use of natural fibers instead of nylon Uh, use of fuel efficient vehicles use of biogas produced from garbage cattle dung and waste material so further we would be discussing a lot of uh, uh, details of this chapter but this is the review of this chapter so please go through the chapter and let me know if you have any questions thank you so much